Well, the question is why, and as sort of course, is something that can't be answered just yet. Residents here say this is a quiet complex. People keep it to themselves, but that all changed Saturday night with calls of 911. A mother claiming her husband, the father, killed her two children and tried to kill two more. Today, outside the well kept, secure townhome community in Lancaster, shock and disbelief from residents. You never know. Never. It's just awful. Man. Clyde Beeman says the suspect. Give me your hands. No. Prosper Serna, here being taken into custody in the early hours of Sunday morning, his pants stained with blood, moved into the complex with his family about a year ago. The sheriff giving a brief update today, reading in part. Homicide detectives determined there was sufficient evidence to arrest Prospero Serna for the crimes of murder and child abuse. However, Serna is refusing to cooperate with sheriff deputies, therefore delaying his booking process. So, two children dead, two more hospitalized, with what's only been described so far as lacerations. This is awful. It's really awful. I mean, to hear something like that is just terrible. It's very shocking and, and, you know, it's sad to hear that it had to happen to kids, you know? I mean, I do understand that the lives, everybody's life matter, but unfortunately it was kids. So the two children in the hospital are expected to survive, Christine and Marla. The extent of their injury is not known. It's believed a knife was used, but again, the sheriffs chose to use the word lacerations. The father you saw in that graphic video, which lasted for a few minutes, was taken into custody as he ran from this scene about a mile away. And can you see his pants were covered in blood? And that's, uh, of course, part of what the sheriffs no doubt used as what they said was evidence to decide to arrest him after initially just describing him as that frequently heard term person of interest. Mm -hmm. Live in Lancaster, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. Phil, do we know if he has a history with authorities? We don't. Uh, we know very little about him. They haven't released uh, any data, birth date, background. Mm -hmm. He's just been described as originally from San Bernardino. But uh, the people that I talked to here are under the impression that he lived here with uh, his wife uh, and, and uh, at least four children. Uh, they haven't even said whether there were more than four, just uh, the four that we know about, all under the age of 10. Their ages haven't been uh, specified. Mm.